Ooh, what's going on guys welcome back to call of the sea so we are having another weird vision vision thingy i think and our hands have well, arms have transformed into this I water creature scared, but it's hard to explain what i feel but it isn't fear not a bit um and yeah, I pretty much have no idea what's actually going on Another here. One of those gates, like the one I saw in the temple. Guess we touch it. Okay. So that's how we get out of the water then. Being me. Uh, we are glowing a bit. Or oh, it may be the lighting in here. Okay. It's hard for me to understand how these gates work. What happens every time I cross one of them? That is a fair question. Is there anything hiding in here? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. We can't traverse the bush. Another one there. That's stuff for us to walk on. Is that something? Nope. Can't go up there. Okay. Guess we are touching the next next one then. Yep, back to being a fish thingy. Mm. We can mess with this thing. Another panel of this strange technology. What's it for? Something related to the currents? Might be. Can't do anything else with it, it seems. Can we swim through here? No. Nope. She did say another one. Oh. Okay. That doesn't change. Does it change anything? Oh, we still can't go through there. Okay, so I guess we have to go topside to check our journal. It would make sense why we can't see that underwater. Can we? Pretty please? Or can we just... Hmm. Doesn't look like we can get up from here. And interact with this thing. If we are above water. Nope, we can't check our journal when we are in fish form. Oh. 
Ah, uh, okay. I, I think I sort of have it. So one has to go far, one has to go... Not far at all. So it's a timing issue. Hmm, no. But if we turn it back around... Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Interesting. Whoa. Wow. I mean, we don't even get to control the speed through here. The exploring could be cool though. Nope. Locked out. Okay. The island is pierced by underground currents. Can't mess with the flow from here. Okay. There it is. Okay. Back to human form, I guess. Direction change. Okay. So we need to charge it and then we can change the flow. That architecture yeah. again. Where is this gate going to lead me now? No clue, but it's very pretty. What a quiet and peculiar place. Indeed. Okay, so, I don't know, these have normal hand symbols on them. Does that mean we have to be, I don't know, maybe in human form to interact with something around here? I wonder who used to live here. It seems it was abandoned ages ago. Um, I don't think we want to touch that. We Okay. I understood that. Yeah, this seems sketchy. I know there's something there. Just want to check out stuff before we touch anything that might be the definitive. It's another one. Slaves and masters and... Nicole. Wasn't Nicole in the notes? Nicole most definitely were in the notes. Although they are the same style, these huts are much simpler than the magnificent architecture I've seen up to now. Let's go... Uh, lock. That was a small sink full of black ooze. I heard some voices calling me and they sound similar to the ones in my dream. But this time I understood what they were saying. Okay. Hmm. As strange as it might seem, I feel a strange harmony with these surroundings. Everything reacts when I'm close as if every living entity here and this lagoon welcomes me. There was something about the Nagal. I'm pretty sure there were. Maybe not here. Maybe it was just in the document we found. There was definitely something about the Nakal. I mean, if they had invented bigger windows, they would have a great view.
Whoever the inhabitants were, they were living here against their will. Oh yeah, they scratched out the... Someone vandalized this yeah. mural. Some hands look human, but others are amphibian hands. Hmm. Okay. Even the water looks pretty good. These are the amphibian ones. Fire falls from the sky, awakens God. Okay. Is that black blood the same thing as the black ooze? My thoughts exactly. Explain what's happening to me. What is the meaning of all this? God's blood, transformation, eternal life. I feel like I'm going through what was written in that inscription. Okay. So nothing here. I mean, I'm all for over overhead lighting, but if you don't put in windows, it's not really gonna benefit you. It's just gonna be a hole in your roof. Black blood in eyes, like in the well. Maybe, yeah. Okay, so uh, let's touch these things, see what they do. Nothing. At least not on their own. Okay, maybe if we push all of them, something's gonna change. Oh, there's a little uh, portal down there. Oh, we can even go down. I didn't even notice. Cool. There are some hand marks made with pigments. I wonder if they mean something. I better draw them just in case. Well, since they are drawn, I'm pretty sure they will have some sort of meaning. Simple order. So we're looking for more of them. Yep. Oh, up there as well. Okay. Looks like we need one more. Ah. Okay. Now we have five. It looks like the same symbols are on the other side as well. Yeah, okay. Let's go back up and around then. We need to find more pillars to interact with. I mean, we could take the ones on this level first. That was this one and one in one of the huts, wasn't there? Was just the ooze in here? The noise is gross, though. Yep. Okay. We haven't been... No, we haven't been over here. Oh, 
Oh, there's the last symbols. Primitive bowls and plates. I mean, I saw the surgical tools earlier. I wouldn't be too cocky about primitive. It seems that each family had to agree somehow to change the water level. I'm amazed at how organized they seem to be, despite them being so primitive. Being trapped here probably made them stronger as a community. Again, probably wouldn't call them uh, primitive. The inhabitants of this village lived at different altitudes. Some even lived inside the water. They used this sort of dam to lower or raise the water level. And let's... Water animal. Is that what I am now? Man, I don't want to be a slave. Did we do something wrong? Most likely. Okay, simple order. So maybe we have to go purple, find the claws, red hands, yellow hands, white hands. I'm guessing that's claw marks. I don't know. We haven't found a have we found a pillar up here? Nope. Okay, so... White hand at the bottom. That must be this one. We have to find yellow hand, red hand, and then the claw marks are back up here. Okay. So, a pillar near yellow hand marks. The red one was upstairs, I believe. Well, the yellow hands are here, but no discernible pillar for us to interact with. Hmm. Curious. That's red hands. Okay. Oh, did we go through that? Yeah, we went through that, right? That's the... Is that the yellow hands up here? Yep, yellow hands. Red, claw marks, and then purple. So we all almost, almost did it in the right order. Claw mark is in there.
but um, maybe it's just the button. Maybe it's not actually uh, related to the pillars per se. I think we are right. Oh, that's neat. So now we can go push that thing. Okay. Again, it could be nice with a bit more top speed. hope we can resort to just pushing one because I have no idea how we're gonna get over there this civilization used these devices to raise and lower the water level oh okay Impressive. of course there we go all right I guess we are touching this thing and turning fishy again broken. I'll have to find another way to go through. I mean, do we even need them? Can we just swim around? I don't know. So again, we have a long one, short one, and then we have to turn it around. for okay so that's just gonna okay it's oh it's gonna propel us through uh, these things oh so we need to make all of it work okay sure let's have a look at this mural first Different types of creatures of the same species lived here, but they weren't free. Okay, so I guess we have to align all of these and then we can be like slingshotted through? I don't know. No. Let's turn this bad boy around first. Bit early. Oh, that might be a bit late actually. No, it worked. Okay. Um, now we come to a dead end at a wall. Interesting. Let's get closer to the other mural, though. Can't I look at this? Can we interact with it? They rebelled oh, there we go. Masters. The slaves seem to worship two gods. The blue ones? Are those the gods? Mm -mm, maybe. Oh. This looks like an altar dedicated to two figures. I can 
can hear them talking to me. So one is very fish-like with those things, and the other one not quite as much. Okay. Um. Anything special about this? No. Just something we can look through. Okay. Get back out. There's another one of those gates. I'm guessing that's a no. What about through there? This looks like something. Sneakily hidden where we entered. That's just annoying. But we can't get on land here. Okay, but we did. All of those in the same direction. Oh, this has a button. Oh, okay. I'm guessing uh, time trial thingy. So that's why we need those. Oh, I made it. Okay. So that's what that thing was for. Uh. Oh, okay. There was an exit. Good. My illness has kept me from being happy. What I feel now is the complete opposite of being sick. I feel full of life and energy, even better than before my illness. Well, maybe we were always meant to be a fishy creature. Didn't they state earlier that our mother died from the same affliction? Pretty sure it did. Okay, so we're on the other side now. Let's go check out this little cave first. If we can, we can. Or maybe this was just where we tried to get up before. If I enter the water now, I'll be soaked, being me. I mean, it's hard to explain this, even to myself. Man, so gorgeous. Okay. So, tell you what guys, uh, before we press this button, uh, it's time for a break. When we come back, we're going to press the button and see what happens. So, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for the next one. And until then, take care. Bye.